Hey everyone, I'm Andrew Dowd. And I'm Sarah Hagen. And this is what's happening in the Hamptons. Today we're at 285 Job's Lane in Bridge Hampton, exclusively listed with Nancy Mizrahi. This 4,200 square foot home is ideally located minutes to the beautiful beaches of Bridge Hampton. The 1.4 acre lot offers a spacious retreat among beautiful gardens and a pool. Joining us today are Kat O'Neill and Andrea McCafferty, owners and directors of the White Room Gallery here in Bridgehampton, just down the road from where we are today. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank Thanks you for inviting us. us. The pieces that you have on display in this house work great in this space, but how do you select art for different homes? Yeah, you try and fix like a, a focal point, which is really the personality of the house, which would, would probably be the living room most of the time. And then you kind of work from there. How much do you work off the decor if it is furnished? A lot. a lot. I mean, again, like <laughs> yeah. sometimes, like you come into this kind of home and it's a little bit more monochromatic. Mm -hmm. And so you kind of go with more soothing colors, more blacks and whites, more neutral tones, grays, sometimes tans. Mm -hmm. uh, but then again, it's always nice to have the a color, color right. too. Okay, so what's trending in art today? Well, I would say graffiti and pop art. What's maybe the biggest mistake somebody makes in picking a piece? for their home, whether it's too big or too small or... They just don't like it when they get home sometimes, no. you know? So maybe they that's can. the biggest well, mistake, fall in love and yes. then not... Yes. Because it can look completely different in the right. gallery, you know? Mm -hmm. Again, like the colors of the walls could be different. The lighting, mm -hmm. you know, it, everything changes when you bring it to the space. Mm -hmm. So it is very different. And I know a lot of artists, they'll say, oh, this looks so good here as opposed to in my studio. So that could be... Mm -hmm. Is there issue. a return policy with art? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had any returns. <laughs> Take it home and live with there it. There is a return yeah. policy, you know. <laughs> Even on dibs, like, I'm like, oh, it's going to Canada. I hope they like it. You know? <laughs> so. And you guys have a new exhibit in town. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes, we do. It's called Positive Space. Um, the artist is Seek One. He did the Monroe and Twiggy. And then in the back there is Cindy Press, the black and whites. Alicia Gitlitz is along the wall, and Strasberg Mandel um, do the giant iconic music mixed medias. I'm curious, what makes an exhibit successful? What do you want people to feel or take away when they first walk in and they see what's going on in the gallery? Well, one guy came into one show and he said, wow. And that's like, <laughs> that's yeah. like the, the review you want. Compliment you want. He just walked I mean, in. I think we really try to yeah. do different exhibits, things oh. that other galleries are not necessarily doing. All right, thank you both so much for being with us today. And thank Positive you. Space runs through the end of Memorial Day. So yes. Everyone should come out and see it. And that's what's happening in the Hamptons. And to see more on this listing and all our listings, be sure to check out Saunders.com. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. I'm Andrew Dowd. And I'm Sarah Hagen. And this is what's happening in the Hamptons. Today we are joined by Drew Hyatt, executive chef at Topping Rose, Nancy Atlas, Michael Grimm of Bridgehampton Florist. What are you most excited about for this season? If you were an instrument, what one would you be and why? A tuba because I'm big and loud. There you go. Michael, thank you so much for joining us. That's what's happening in the Hamptons. To see more on this listing and all our listings, be sure to check out saunders.com. Bam! Guys. All right, hit stop.